Operation Equine, we're a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We do equine assisted psychotherapy and equine guided education for military service members, veterans, emergency responders, and their families. We've got one location down in Parker with Colorado equine specialists. I am so fortunate to work with Marie Hancock, who is a, an Army veteran spouse, and it's her property, and they have wonderful horses down there where we do a lot of our work. Colorado Equine Specialists in Operation Equine, we partner together to co-facilitate the AGALA model, which stands for Equine Assisted Growth and Learning Association. Within that model, uh, their approach is co-facilitation. So there is the licensed mental health professional, expert in their field, the equine specialist, expert in their field, and the horses. And together we co-facilitate a very educated, ethical, and professional practice when incorporating horses into a mental health therapeutic session. And then another organization up in Erie called Allegiance Ranch, where I'm equally fortunate to be able to work, to be able to serve our military service members, our veterans, the emergency responders, and their spouses and their children. Being able to work in these two locations means that we're able to serve more people and be able to bring more therapists on and more groups on. Animal assisted therapy, if you don't know anything about it, it's just so soothing, it's so calming, it's so healing, because it's really introspective. You get to learn a lot about yourself. For me, being around horses um, is just therapy. It makes me happy, it's my happy place. When you really connect with an animal and you see that animal as a living, breathing soul, I really think it does provide an extra layer of empathy and compassion and concern that you can bring out into the world as well and, and connect better with people. We might do a group activity that encourages team building. So if there's a group of people who either work together and know each other or who work in a similar line of work, we can do activities with the horses and with the team so that they can communicate better. Horses are very intuitive by nature. They communicate through nonverbal body language, and so they're kind of experts in that. Horses are natural BS detectors, both physically as well as emotionally. So they really interpret body language from a very in-tuned, intuitive space. They have very calming energy. It's like you can feel their energy and they feel yours. It helps us settle down. It helps us reconnect and reground and recenter ourselves so we can present a little bit more calmly, but it does add an element of empathy and compassion. And I love this quote, until one loves an animal, part of one's soul remains unawakened. So the Warrior Therapeutic Pack Trip is going to be our new signature program because it puts together all of the things that are so impactful and so empowering. We developed the Warrior Pack Trip program to get veterans into the backcountry and give them a taste of the mountains and the horses and just the resetting feeling of nature that gives us a chance to come back to where we used to be. We take the best of what we do on the ground, the best of the mounted horse work, and the best of wilderness therapy and being outside under the blue sky and the stars and campfires and trail rides and setting up tents and cooking together and the camaraderie that comes with doing all of that together. In its entirety, it's a six day trip. The first day and a half will be arriving and meet and greets and being able to get to know each other and doing some team building activities. It's also starting to get to do some horse work, to get to know how horses operate, to get an idea of how they move. I run a ranch in Basalt, Colorado, and we have six horses on the property, and we have about 100 acres. And so we are going to use the ranch that I manage to bring the veterans in on the beginning of the pack trip for horse familiarization, tack familiarization, and just get them comfortable with horses so when we set out on the trail ride, it's not a new thing. 
We're working with an outfitter who's gonna do a lot of the packing and they're gonna teach our veterans how to do some of the packing and our goal is to essentially make the veterans part of the outfitter. We don't wanna be guided. We wanna bring these driven men and women in and give them jobs. So we pack up and it's about a three and a half hour trail ride all the way up into the Flat Tops Wilderness. The Warrior Therapeutic Pack Trips will have counselors on them and that is part of the whole trip, is being able to put together a curriculum of mindfulness and of activities and of self-awareness and things that we're gonna do to be able to give us more insight about ourselves. At night, after we're done with dinner and we do all the dishes together, we have the campfire. It's an informal campfire, but there will be some guided questions because on this trip, there will also be journaling, a time to get some additional insight. There will be some opportunity for us to share some things together. And then on the backside, we're gonna do kind of a debrief and we're gonna get together as a group and talk about growth and then develop the community that's gonna move from the actual experience and go home with them and the horses will be a part of that too, closing that up. It does take quite a bit of funding to be able to make this program work. Raising funds for that Warrior Therapeutic Pack Trip is essential for making sure that these trips happen. At the end of the day, when people ask why horses, it's one of the most relational, empowering kinds of therapy we can do. And so when people walk away after being with the horses and their chins are a little higher and their shoulders are back and they're actually breathing and they look relaxed, there's nothing else we'd rather be doing. It's the most rewarding thing in the world.